You're gonna be the one that saves me. Come show the disgrace that we're looking at here. They're wearing Montreal Canadiens hats. They're dressed as clowns. Get out of here. Hey, hey, sir. Oh. Toronto over, Maple Leafs over? over any American team. Yeah. We gotta start this post game pod. Are we just gonna lean here or are we gonna jump up? Kinda got a stick in my ass here. But like, wipe my ass, alright? Two swipes and it's gone. The fucking massive ass dino schlong. This is Fan First Network. Leafs win, baby! It's Halloween. Scary night for the Kraken. 4 1 for the Leafs. Ryan, great game, buddy. Give it to me. Give it to me. Honestly, I, pr I thoroughly enjoyed the way the Leafs played today. I thought it was a complete performance from the top down. Everything about tonight was pretty good. It's unfortunate they gave up the goal because Joseph Wall was a brick wall. The entire team played an amazing, amazing yeah. effort tonight. He stood on his feet. He was fine. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he stood in that little goalie stance of his, making saves left, right, and center. Sure. Gets scored on. It's a, it's a six on five. Who gives a crap, all right? They wouldn't have been able to, they wouldn't have been wow they wouldn't have been able to score on him five on five anyways they did it all game it's beautiful great effort honestly yeah I, I completely agree um, John Tavares is a guy that we've been pretty harsh on so far this season but the Leafs are something like eleven and two what's up buddy he kind of looks like John Tavares a little bit the Leafs are eleven and two at five on five and now that may have changed uh, as that game sort of yeah. progressed there. With John Tavares on the ice, that makes him one of our most effective forwards this season. And, like, it maybe hasn't looked like it the whole, the whole like, run nine games, ten games in. But you can't argue with the numbers. He's been great five on five. 110%. 110% agree. Uh, I was, how old was I? I was 16 years old, 15 years old. I had $250 in my bank account. And I got that notification that John Tavares signed in Toronto. For 11 million, which is a lot of money. It's a little bit too much money, but still a lot of money. Still signed. So what did I do with that $250? I bought myself my first real Toronto Maple Leafs jersey, baby. Oh yeah. It's a, it was a good purchase, I must say. Uh, it kind of hurt my bank account at the time. That's okay. I'm, I'm not pissed off, especially with his performance tonight. And honestly, again, we have been riding him a lot this season. And... Sometimes it's been for good reason. He's a little slower. A lot of that has to do with the amount of money that he's making. If he keeps performing the way that he did tonight and the, uh, in the stretch that he's had so far, sure, pay the guy $11 million. Who cares? Not next year. I still I don't agree with that. Don't give him $11 million next year. Please, no. He needs four. He deserves four. Yeah, uh, four, four or less if you can get him any lower. Um, speaking of, I guess we're going to talk, we'll go right into it, we're talking about contract values. Matthew Nyes, man, five goals in his last six games, came into the season looking like a fucking unit. Like, the guy is 240, six foot four. Every time he steps out on the ice, nice Mike, Mike Babcock, Mike, Mike Babcock type player. Do you think we can get this guy signed for less than $6 million? I've called him Mr. Steak and Chicken since the first game of the season when he decided to pop off and show his beautiful, big, bodacious ass, just ripping through the ice, scoring goals, making plays. Honestly, I don't think he deserves less than seven. Give him seven. He's still young. He's got a lot more development to do, and he's going to do that development with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He has been astounding for us. He was astounding in his first ever time stepping on the ice with the Leafs in the playoffs. I'm sorry, do we remember that against Tampa stepping on the ice and making an immediate impact? Yeah. Gross. Yeah. Coming off a Hobie Baker winning season. Dude, uh, like, you can't go wrong with that. You, no. you can't go wrong with the guy. You cannot go wrong with the guy. Okay, so where are you pulling that $7 million from? Like, next year, where is that going to come from? I said it. Give Tavares four because he'll take it. He might take less because I'm sure Tavares knows he's getting up there in age. He's not playing the exact same like he used to. We signed him when he was, what, 28, something like that? 27, 28? He's not going to be performing like he did when he was 27, 28, all right? It's just, that's, the, that's just how age works. That's just how hockey works, right? If he takes a nice little hometown discount, shout out Hockey Illuminati, I love you very much, um, and he takes like three and a half, four million dollars, dude, that's where the money's going to come from. 
Sure, you don't even have to like move off a big guy. Let's just hope they can get him under contract. Matthew Nye is absolutely beautiful. Based, there's not a whole lot else we're going hit, to hit, hit here today. There is one more thing that we would like to talk about, though. Joseph, like a fucking stone wall. Oh, my God, he was good today, bro. That's the Joseph wall we thought we were going to see at the start of the season. That's the Joseph wall we know and we love, all right? That's the Joseph wall that played game six against Boston and lit them up up all right that's the joseph wall i wanted to see against st louis sure first game back we said it then we'll say it now it was his first game back get the jitters out dust off the raw uh, well dust off the rust the little wd-40 i know he put it on his knees and his little glove and stuff like that it did a great job look at how he performed tonight what a performance Com like i was watching him so intently throughout the game he was dialed there was nothing getting past him. He didn't have Legos on his mind. He didn't have piano on his mind. No, he had puck in mind. Get puck. Two words, get puck. That's it. That's all. And he did that. He got puck every time. He got oh, okay. Except for one. Almost every time. But it was oh, a six on five, fine. so fuck that. It's okay. It's, yeah, fine. it's fine. No, Nobody counts empty net goals except for Austin Matthews tonight. Love you, Austin Matthews. You really needed one tonight. Maybe get your confidence up a little bit. I still, you still need to put some in the back of the net. Hey, it's a top tier empty netter though. A bank yeah. shot, a bank shot from your own blue line is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get much better than that. That's an Austin Matthews empty netter. Yeah, dude, either that or he goes bar down. There's no, <laughs> there's no in between for Austin Matthews. Okay, so I'm, I'm also in the camp of Joseph Wall is still the guy. He was the guy to come into the season. We're lucky to have Anthony Stolarz as that potential number two. It's probably more like a 1A, 1B situation if we're being completely real. And if we did have to go into game one tomorrow, I would be happy with it being either guy. I think I'd still pick Wall because of the playoff experience, but I'd take either guy, bro. I think we have a Swayman Olmark uh, situation on our hands here, folks. It's looking spicy. Let's just hope we can actually manage it nicely because sometimes with situations like that, you end up fucking the dog and putting the wrong guy in. Just a little bit. Just, just a tad. Just a tad. Uh, Boston Bruins uh, getting eliminated after being the President's Trophy winners and setting a historical season record. Uh, you guys suck. Fuck the Bruins. Okay, um, I don't think I got anything else. You got anything else? I got nothing else. I'm just very happy. With the way the Leafs played tonight, it's Halloween. I wish I could say I was going to like, like 44 on like King Street, but oh, well, would you look at that? I gotta wake up at 4:30 in the morning and make coffee, and I gotta go edit this shit so you can watch it. Nico Davies Hall, Ryan May. We didn't say it off the top, but we are fan first Leafs. We'll see you next game. Follow us, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Fan First Network. This is Fan First Network.